Good morning, Winchester Wildcats. Happy Friday, March, May 6, 2022. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by the boys and girls from Mrs. Grafman's first grade. Great job, first graders. Please remain standing for our moment of silence. Today, I'd like us to bow our heads, think quietly to ourselves. Let's bow. Nicely done, first graders. Everyone else, uh, please remain standing for our moment, our Wildcat Creed, led by Mrs. Grafman's first graders. I belong to the family. Great job, first graders. You may be seated. Today for lunch in the cafeteria, we're having pizza slice or soft pretzel with cheese, peanut butter uncrustable, baby carrots with dip, fruit, and milk. We've got some students celebrating their birthdays today or over the weekend. A special happy birthday to Von Leon Lynn. He's celebrating his birthday today. Alana Tucker is celebrating her birthday today. And on Sunday, May 8th, Karen Toon Chen, uh, Song Kim, is celebrating a birthday. And Famia Walanja is celebrating a birthday. All of those friends should stop by the office for their birthday surprise. All right. Um, don't forget, you do need to be wearing your bus lanyard. Remember, it is used every day to get on and off the bus safely. It is being used every day to check out in the cafeteria. Uh, I know people don't like waiting, but if you bring in your bus tag, you don't have to wait and you don't have to pay us $2 to replace it. Boys and girls, we are getting close to the end of the school year. And one of the things that Miss Steve and I have been talking about is We've got a lot of boys and girls who are starting to bring in their broken, damaged Chromebooks. And boys and girls, I'm just gonna tell you, if you damage it, um, basically starting today, uh, we will not be replacing it until next school year, um, which means you won't be able to have it over the summer, you won't be able to have it the remainder of this year. Uh, if you damage it, if you break it, if you crack the screen, we will not be replacing it until uh, you come back for school next year. Um, we have gone through a lot of Chromebooks. I know sometimes accidents happen, but we've had several students who they are on their fourth and fifth Chromebook. Do remember that each Chromebook costs about $200 to replace. Um, so if you damage your Chromebook, break it, um, we will not be replacing it pretty much starting Monday. All right, Evaluate is looking really awesome. And I have to say we had four more kids get perfect scores. I think we're up to like nine maybe with perfect scores. But to celebrate some uh, fourth and third graders, uh, Chris and Mrs. Nash's class got a perfect score on his Evaluate Language Arts. And Henry and Mrs. Nash's class also got a perfect score on his uh, fifth grade Evaluate Language Arts. And we had two friends and Mr. Uh, McDuffie's class get a perfect score on their math evaluate. Tito got a perfect 100 and Abigail got a perfect 100 as well. So great job to all of those friends. Like I said, boys and girls, you guys are so smart. You're being awesome. We have seen triple, uh, not triple digit growth, but double digit growth. Kids going from 20%, 30%, 40%. It is amazing and I am so incredibly proud of you. Keep up all that hard work. I know some grade levels are gonna finish next week and that's okay, but boys and girls, you're doing awesome. Oh, my thing froze. 
All right, today is the last day of our Staff Appreciation Spirit Week. On Monday, we will go back to our regular school uniforms, but I hope you have spent some time this week telling your teachers, telling your staff how much you care and appreciate them. Our teachers, our staff work so hard every day to give you the best educational experience, to help you grow, to help you learn, to help you become successful people. And I hope you spent some time this week telling them thank you. All right, boys and girls, I don't know what happened yesterday, but I think at one time we had six kids in the office. I had everything from bad words, putting their hands and feet on themselves, you know, the other people, um, arguing with teachers, being disrespectful. And I just know my Wildcats are better than that. I know they make better choices than that. I know they're smarter than that. I know we're getting close to the end of the year and we're getting a little fidgety and we're getting a little antsy, but right now is the best time to be working hard, following those directions so that we can have a great end of the school year. We've got a lot of fun activities planned here over the next three, four weeks. And I would hate to have Mr. Osborne and I have to spend a whole bunch of those fun activities sitting with kids in the office. So keep your hands and feet to yourselves, use kind words. You should not be saying bad words in our school. Make sure you're being appropriate on the bus and we're gonna have a fabulous Friday and a wonderful weekend. Remember, Wildcats are fierce, they are ferocious, and they are also kind and smart. You are a Wildcat. Make it a great day, Wildcats. The choice is yours. Bye everyone.